Some of the most colourful words in the English language originated across the water in Ireland. Here are some of our favourites, and at the end of this video, at the risk of being thrown into the Irish Sea, we reveal the one word that seems to be the essence of Irishness, which is in fact from England. But first things first. A hooligan is someone who indulges in mindless violence and vandalism. The term originates from a 19th century English magazine called Nuggets, which created a fictional Irish family called the Hooligans. They were presented as stupid, clumsy and vulgar. Remember this was a time when there was a lot of prejudice against Irish immigrants. On the other hand, Irishman Patrick Houlihan kind of let the side down. He and his family caused widespread trouble in London with their unruly behaviour, reinforcing the word's meaning as a troublemaker. Boycott is a word people might use today to urge shoppers not to buy from a company that has resorted to unethical practices. It originated in County Mayo in Ireland in the 19th century. Captain Charles C. Boycott was a land agent who refused to reduce his rents following campaigns by the Irish Land League to ease the suffering of the poor. On the advice of Irish politician Charles Stuart Parnell, rather than resort to violence, the people in his community simply shunned Boycott and refused to have anything to do with him. Yes, they boycotted him. The word boycott then entered the language, meaning to avoid and ignore. Phony has been used since the 1800s to describe a product or a person as being fake, insincere or counterfeit. It's thought to have come from fonya, the Irish word for a ring. In the 19th century, there was a common contract known as the fonya ring, which would bamboozle a person into buying jewellery for up to 10 times its value. Smithereens describes the tiny pieces that are left of an object once it's been shattered. It comes from the Irish word smidgerin, which means a fragment or shard. Galore now means plentiful, even too much, but its origins were more modest. It's from the Irish Cert Gorloa, which roughly translates as correct, enough or right. Over time, it was absorbed into English as just galore, and the original meaning of enough developed into plentiful. These days you can hardly move without being bombarded with slogans from political parties and advertisers. It comes from the Irish slogel, meaning battle cry, to rally support. Brogue comes from the similar sounding Irish word for a shoe, broke. But of course, the old brogues worn by the Irish immigrants would have been nowhere near as snazzy as the modern versions. Speaking of snazzy, that comes from the Irish word snaz, meaning to polish. Easy to see how that developed into bright and fashionable. Keep watching, we'll have more words for you in a jiffy, which by pure coincidence also has Irish origins. It comes from the word jaffia, meaning in a hurry, in a rush. Whiskey has been one of Ireland's most famous products for centuries. It comes from Awishkabaha, meaning the water of life. Over time it's been shortened to Ishka and then anglicised into whiskey. Maybe because it's easier to say if you've had one too many of the Awishkabaha. And so to the one Irish word that is actually English. It's hard to believe but that most Irish of words, crack, actually originated in England. We all know the Irish phrase to enjoy the crack, which refers to having a laugh, a joke, a good time. However, the word dates back to the Middle Ages, where it originated in Northern England. Back then, the word crack referred to a talkative person. The word was taken up by the Irish in the mid 20th century, and the spelling changed to crack. The meaning changed over the years to simply refer to fun and enjoyment. That's all for now, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like and share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you'll be among the first to see our videos as soon as we post them each week.